Well, they are faster, slicker, and roomier than the old subway cars. But whether or not Toronto's new rocket trains really are the better way to travel will be up to commuters. Our Stephen D'Souza had a chance to take a ride today. Stephen, what was it like? Well, it was smoother and quieter, but then again, we did have the benefit of riding with just a small group of media and not during rush hour. But having said that, I do think that all of the commuters rushing home now are going to enjoy the new rocket. It's out with the old and in with the new. Inside, the first thing you notice is how bright and more open it feels. While the dimensions are the same as the old cars, there's actually 10% more space. The inside, we've tried to take advantage of every nook and cranny we can to try to create as much space as possible for the passengers. As you travel, an active route map shows where the train is. Once you arrive, new screens tell you where you are and which way to go. The most obvious change you'll see on these new trains is that they are open from one end all the way to the other. It's called an open gangway and it's the first for any subway system in North America. But there are also some very small changes and germaphobes are going to like this. Microscopic changes on every surface that you'll touch on this train. Nearly all of the train surfaces have been treated with an antimicrobial shield. Tiny charged particles attract microbes, killing them on contact. They continually continually works around the clock inhibiting and minimizing that bacteria. In addition to increased wheelchair and mobility areas, there are 36 alarm intercoms, 24 closed circuit cameras, and 18 information screens. These new trains will hit the rails in a few weeks, but if you ride the subway east to west, well, you're out of luck. The new trains will only be on the Young University Spadina line, not on the Bloor Danforth. They'll get the hand-me-down T1 trains. The TTC says the Young Line is at capacity and needs the new trains more. Hasn't set a firm date for when those new trains will be introduced. That's because they still need to do some testing and some training. But if you want to get your own sneak preview, you can go to Davisville Station on Sunday between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. As part of Doors Open Toronto, the TTC will be giving free tours of the new trains. Reporting live, I'm Stephen D'Souza.